So what should a workout look like? And you've heard any videos you've watched of mine talking about this. If you're trying to become a better, stronger athlete, and specifically you're trying to be a better shot putter, discus thrower, you know, there is a number of different ways. I have people and I've seen programs and I don't necessarily agree with them, but they're working and they produce good results and that's good. And then I've seen bad programs. Now, what is the structure? You can do a number of different structure. And if you've seen my video where I talked about kind of programming and what's kind of involved, that's what really dictates the workout. So based on your goal, that's going to be what dictates the program and the form of the workout. So here's an example of a workout that we're currently doing called Restore. And Restore is a preparation workout, right? And in the strength and conditioning world, we talk about something called GPP, general physical preparation. And what does that mean? It means just like the name says, get your athletes generally physically prepared. So if you're a coach, you that should be the first goal. If you're an athlete, before you're going to go crazy and get the next workout on building the biggest bench ever or the biggest squat and getting you stronger than a house, you need to make sure that you can actually sustain the house. I use the example in another video about building a skyscraper. If you're going to build an 80 story building, it better be a great foundation that's going to be able to sustain all the floors and levels that are going to be built on top of it. If it's a shitty foundation, the freaking building is going to fall down. You don't want that. Don't think for a second that that's not going to happen to you. If you build a crap foundation or you have a bad foundation, and you're trying to overload it, you're gonna break at some point. How would I know that? I've done that. I had coaches that told me I should be doing X, Y, and Z, and what did I do being a dumbass when I was a young guy? I didn't do the assistance work I was supposed to. So what happens? I wind up getting injured, and that's gonna happen. This is just how the science is gonna work. So here's how I would say, and right now we have a restore program and what that focuses on. We focus on a warm up that always includes a mobility and kind of posture focused warm up. We're gonna be doing things to strengthen up, to line us up, to activate all of our key support muscles that are gonna keep us strong and engaged, right? We want that good spinal alignment. We want our shoulders, our chest open. We wanna see everything in this position. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on what we do in restore is rather than jump straight into squats, we start focusing on things like we're gonna do lunges. We're gonna do a hamstring focused movement. And the reason for this is we're looking at unilateral strength. We're gonna look to see if we have any maybe flexibility issues. Do we have mobility issues? I have multiple athletes right now. They had severe ankle sprains. And then what happens most of the time when you get an ankle sprain, you kind of wait till it feels better and you kind of go back to activity. And what happens is there's actually a deficit and that deficit can linger around for months and sometimes even years. So what do we do? We're putting our athletes in single leg positions. We're including a lot of that type of development and that's going to expose some of those things. And then we're going to be able to focus on our technique and work from there. The next thing we're going to do is after we focus on two main lifts that are centered around variations of a big lift, i.e. a squat or a, you know, doing a lunge instead. And we're doing maybe single arm dumbbell presses versus bench press. We're doing some kind of push up or we're doing something in lieu of just a targeting main lift. This is just going to be a few weeks and then we're going to just kind of progress that and it's going to roll and prepare and get restore structure mobility and lifting technique. So next what we're going to do is work capacity is super critical and we'll talk about that specifically in another video but we add in what we do is either some like a metcon for lack of a better term or some kind of circuit where we're going to put together a circuit program where we're going to do anaerobic threshold. That means we're lifting weights and we're going to be doing reps and we're going to drive that heart rate up. We're going to break a sweat. We're going to building that work capacity because work capacity is so important to maintain quality throughout an entire lift. The next thing we're going to focus on is all of our accessories focused around gross posture rebalancing, GPR. That's one of the things we've coined in our program. We've applied this with hundreds of athletes over the last 10 years. And this is just a really simple approach to make sure that we are spending enough time addressing and adding in exercises that are going to target our weak supporting muscles. We do uh, anterior world, everything comes forward. We play, on, we, we're on our phones, we're on, we're playing video games, you know, we're on computers, we're, we're writing, we're doing all this anterior dominant movement, much sort more now today than ever because of technology. So we want to make sure that we're adding a lot of our posterior chain. We're getting our 
rear delts, we're getting our scap retractors, we're, you know, we're hitting our erector muscles, we're hitting our hamstrings, adductors, we're working the tibialis anterior on the front of the shin because nobody tends to do that. So we're gonna focus on all these things in the accessory circuit. And then we basically, we're done. We go into a cool down phase. So this is just one of a zillion different ways you can structure a program. But again, what's the focus in this program? Preparation, restoring the best quality movement we can in the body to prepare for better throws training and better lifting program and building that foundation that's gonna support that 80 story building. Okay guys, we hopefully that was helpful. If you'd like information, check it out the link. We'll see you on the next video.